Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss my next upload. In today's DIY, I'll show you how to make two beautiful sets of candle holders. The first set is perfect for my glam girls and my bling queens. And my second set of candle holders are perfect for fall and farmhouse decor. So if you like what you see, then please keep watching. Starting out, we'll be using two of the Dollar Tree 4x6 picture frames, some Dollar Tree napkin rings, some acrylic diamonds, or you can use the little gems that come in this pack, and that's what I'll be using today. I'm actually going to use three packs, some diamond wrap, aka bling wrap, a candle holder, some type of strong glue, some silver spray paint, some mirror towels, or you can use some diamond wrap for this as well. Some scissors and some hot glue. Tape both frames from their packaging and then take the frames completely apart. Using pliers, remove all of the tabs from around the frame. Once you remove all the tabs, you're gonna take your frame and spray paint it silver with the silver spray paint. Be sure to get inside the frame and along the edges as well. You really don't have to worry about the surface because it's gonna be covered. Once your frames are dry, take your glue and glue your glasses back in place. Now set both frames aside until they're completely dry. Once the glue is dry, go ahead and add your gems. Like I said before, you can use the diamond ones, but I'm gonna use the little crystal ones that come in this packet with the lights. Spread the gems out evenly on one of the frames. I used three packs to fill my frame. I still had a couple of spaces left, but I wanted my gems to move, so I didn't fill it completely. Move the gems around until they're even in height. You don't want any open spaces between both frames when you put them together. Sit the empty frame on top of the bottom frame, hold them together, and then stand them up to see if you need to add any more gems. After standing the frames up, I saw that I needed more gems. I added a few more gems and then stood the frame up again to check it. Once you're happy with the look, Apply your glue to the bottom frame, smooth the glue out, and then attach the top frame. And make sure that they line up evenly. Firmly press them together and set them aside to dry. When the glue dries, it's time to decorate your frame with the mirror towels or the bling wrap. Measure the towels against the frame, fold the towels back to make a crease, and then cut it with a utility knife. Although the towels come with adhesive, I'm still going to add some Gorilla Glue because I want to make it a permanent hold. After I applied the glue, I used a popsicle stick to spread it out. Now I'll remove the backing from the towels and place them on the frame. Repeat those steps until both sides of the frames are done. Once you're done completing one side of the frame, you'll have something that looks like this. Now repeat the same steps for the sides of the frame. After the front and sides are decorated, it's time to add the neck to the candle holder. And I'll be using one of these Dollar Tree napkin rings to create the neck. Glue the napkin ring in the center of the frame and use a really strong adhesive. I'll be using E6000 along with some hot glue. Since the E6000 is a really strong glue, I'll be using my mask. Only put glue on the napkin ring where it makes contact with the base. Set the napkin ring on top and then add hot glue on the inside of the napkin ring where it makes contact with the base. 
Now measure and glue mirror tiles down on each side of the neck. The next step is to glue the frames to the candle holder. Check the position on the candle holder to make sure it's level and then add your glue. Now replace the frames on top of the candle holder. Make sure it's even and then set it aside to dry for about 30 minutes. I forgot to mention that we'll need one of these candle holders as well. Apply glue to the top of the napkin ring and then sit your clear candle holder on top. Make sure it's centered and allow it to dry for a few hours. After letting my candle holder sit for 8 hours, it's completely dry. Next I'm going to decorate it with the bling wrap and some rhinestones. I'm going to use my hot glue gun to attach this bling wrap to the neck of the candle holder. Add bling wrap to the neck of the glass candle holder as well. Now I'll attach some rhinestones using my hot glue gun. Add the rhinestones on top of the bling wrap. Now add rhinestones to the neck of the candle holder as well. Once you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. At the last minute, I decided to add one row of bling around the base of the candle holder. And again, I'll be using my hot glue gun to attach it. To finish the look off, I'll be adding rhinestones around the base of the candle holder as well. Once you're done, you'll have this beautiful glam iced out candle holder. I actually have two. I'm sorry that the top is out of view, but I'm going to put these on display, come back and let you see what they look like. Moving on to candle holder number two, cut the stems off both flowers, remove the leaves from one flower, and then glue them together. I used E6000 along with hot glue to glue them together. Now here's a list of things that we'll need for this DIY. We'll need the flowers that we glued together. The frames that I told you about that I painted white on the inside and I've already glued the glass down. A gold metallic marker. This is a Sharpie marker that I picked up at Michael's. The Dollar Tree sells them too in silver and gold. A Dollar Tree napkin ring and I've already painted one white ahead of time. We'll be using that. Some E6000 glue. Some gold diamond wrap. This stencil. And Dollar Tree has several to choose from. I chose this one because it matches the sunflower that I'll be using. Some gold rhinestones, my glue gun, scissors, this rhinestone tool, and this glass candle holder. And this time around I'll use this tape to hold the frames together. Start out by placing your flower in the center of the frame while making sure that some of the flower petals or the leaves extend past the glass of the frame. Once you have your flower placement figured out, add glue to your frame. Now place your flower in the middle, making sure that some of the leaves or the petals extend outward. Press those extended flower petals or leaves down onto the glue. This step will prevent the flower from sliding out of place. Now add glue to the second frame and press them together. Once they're both lined up, add tape to hold them together while the glue sets up. A few hours later, now it's time to decorate the frame. I'm going to use my stencil along with the gold marker to decorate the frame. 
take the backing off the stencil and then line it up with the top of the frame. And then spool the ends down on the sides of the frame. Now take the metallic marker and fill in the open spaces in the design. Make sure to color the stencil on the side as well. I'm going to fill in the stencils on the sides and then on the front. Then I'll come back and let you see what it looks like. Once you're done filling it in, remove the stencil, move the stencil down, line it up, and color it in. Repeat these steps until both frames are completely covered with the stencil design. All the stenciling is now completed. So now it's time to glue on the candle holder and the napkin ring. As you can see, I've already decorated the candle holder to save on time. I just added some bling wrap and rhinestones like I did the first candle holders. So now we're just repeating the steps that we did in the first candle holder. Glue the base to the frame, glue the napkin ring on top, and then the clear candle holder on the very top. Once it all dries, you'll have something that looks like this. Next step is to add Mod Podge to the neck of the candle holder and the design as well. Once the Mod Podge dries, add your bling and your gold rhinestones. And when it all comes together, you have this beautiful fall inspired candle holder. So I'm going to take these along with the first set that I made, put them on display and let you see what they look like. Okay, everyone, this completes my DIY. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I inspire you to recreate one of my designs. Also, don't forget to comment below the item you'd like to see in the mystery box. The choices will be in the description box below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so that you won't miss my next upload. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.